coming on tours, and I do have video, if you'd like to see that, I did bring some in. And it's to the point where, now this summer it's been dry, it could have been done, it was ignored. <coughs> and uh, last summer it was soaking wet when they couldn't get in there. When we do get a rainstorm, it takes two to three days for me to be able to go out my backyard and mow because of the drainage coming off the playground. It's like a river coming from both sides and it compiles into my backyard. <coughs> um, there was a ditch dug, like I said, along the playground area, but when they leveled it out, it wasn't done properly. So the ditch does go that way, but it still comes off on the side, and I just wondered what actually is finally going to be done about it, because I hate waiting two to three days, and I can't walk into my side yard for at least two to three days afterwards, because I am in, I'm in sock, and it's going into our basement, it's coming into the sides of the house, and everything is just wet and sloppy. <laughs> Has anybody not seen it? I can back share there? video I mean, if you like Before you do that, I'm going see if anybody hasn't seen it or would, would want to see it, because I, I know Tommy has been up there, I've been up there different yeah, times and seen it. I, I don't think everybody has. Yeah. I can show you what our backyard actually. One of the one of the conversations we've had is the problem. I'm not sure what we can do on the private property, but the same area that's flooding is causing us to get some flooding damage to our playground. Yeah. Right. And when Tom and I talked, the idea maybe is to have um, some ditching done along the back side of the playground and come along the side where there is the open ditch already. Great. And that would hopefully get the water off so that right now you go and use the merry-go-round and it's totally engulfed in water. It, it, um, it's become a water park. Yeah. And we've got to find a way to do it, but we can't be going on private property to do it. We'd have to. We'd have to do something. Is John or? And it's mosquitoes. It's dry mosquitoes. We're getting bugs. We're getting, yeah. We can't play out the backyard because we're dark. Yeah. Didn't they do some? Is that the ditch that we're doing? Because we brought this up about two or three years ago. Walking in it is. is the well, there's some combination. I'm not sure. I think some of the work that was done was done by private property owners that are neighbors that had done some ditching work. Basically ditched on one side or the other. Now we've ditched on the other side of that. Now she's the only one that hasn't been ditched. And this is where sports coming in. There's private property behind where it drains off that private property onto that. Because the land's privately owned. So. Okay. Yeah, because I know when we walk, walk the park, the drain, it's a right. bog. Yeah. Well, a year ago when we were out there, literally the merry-go-round sat in the middle of probably a 25 or 30-foot diameter pond. Ultimately, it's going to damage our equipment, right, too. Right, right. But I think if we're going to do something, we have to do it on the back side of our playground, not on private property owner the other end. Coming here is the best thing you could have done. Um, I think we've got to probably have uh, Roger and Jack Jack see if we can do the, if this would help if we did it along the backside and divert the water off of our playground as well. At least get a, it's going to be done something that they could do um, and then try to figure out when we can do it. but. We, we got to be on the, the village side or, or on the right. village as and opposed to the front. And you can come into our backyard. I don't have a problem with that as far back as we can go into the woods. I know that we own a little bit back into there. So. But even with permission, we have to make sure we're doing it on public property for a public property benefit as opposed to the individual homeowner. From what I can tell, most of this water is the runoff of Route 20, and it yeah, has gotten worse since they did the re redo of Route 20 several years ago. This was before they did fix the ditch, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen because it's still there. So, and that property that's on behind her, I believe, is someone. I think we already know. Trying to figure that out. I think Jack already knows that one because I looked on his map for him, so he is aware. I think we got to get some proposal from them to how we're going to how we're going to proceed with Jack. Okay. Oh, if you can email that to everybody just so we have it. Have you ever done any of that? I say that most of us, I think, at one point or another, have been up there and seen it. I, She's just showing you a picture of Canada Way. That's all it is. I don't have a slide out there. We'll charge. This is the wrong side of the house.
Yeah, and I know. It runs, and it runs into a grade, which I was told was to catch it coming off the road, but the grade is so narrow when the water comes over to the house, it has to be this high to jump into the grade. Oh. So I have to actually clear Scoop it away yep. or everything else that it has brought down. The other neighbor hmm. While you're finishing watching that, I think we refer to Jack and Roger, see if there is an area of the village's property we can do something on to divert the water. And I think we need to get those two to maybe find out what we did with uh, what we have done up there and what the neighbors have themselves done, because I understand some of this work was done yep. private. And I guess I'd want to know exactly what was done by the neighbors before we start getting up there with any kind of equipment make sure that somebody Either else hasn't undo done something whatever, that's yeah. well undone or um, you know for years we had that problem up on uh, Chautauqua Street and it turned out the only real problem was there was some blockage in the natural drainage flow out behind the DOT and $167,000 later on a drainage project we fixed a problem that just needed to have a drainage ditch cleared. As the rain comes um, down more it's just making a deeper valley there so it's just bringing more and more water in and mm -hmm. I know our neighbors said not to dig a ditch between our pipes. I said, can we dig it there? And they said, no, because then when the water doesn't flow and it sits, it will start seeping into the basements, coming in from the dirt on the side, so it doesn't have to be misdirected from the back somehow on. Yeah. All right, so we'll refer to Jack and Roger for recommendation. Um, anyone else wish to address the board? If not, we'll close the public portion and continue with resolutions. Trustee McKay. Be it resolved that the attached schedule of budget transfers pursuant to section 5-520 of the village law is hereby approved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Be it resolved that the training request for Robert Lancaster, Chief Operator of the Wastewater Filtration Plant to intend the Edwin C. Tift Jr. Water Supply Symposium, mm -hmm. that's a nice one, in Verona, New York. September 21st to the 22nd, 2010 is hereby approved at a cost not to exceed $520. This conference is sponsored by New York State Section American Water Works Association and will give Mr. Lancaster required hours of training. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Be it resolved, the training requests of Anthony Faso, Julius Leon, Marcus Ford, Leonard Weck, Sensky, John Weidenhofer Jr. and Larry Barter to travel out of the county for village business to attend the 15th annual Chautauqua County Weekend New York State Fire Academy at uh, Montour Falls September 11th and 12th sponsored by the Chautauqua County Fire Chiefs Association is hereby approved at a cost not to exceed $1,200. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Any other resolutions? Yes, I have one last one. Be it resolved that National Grid is hereby authorized to construct two street lights as follows. One on Middlesex Drive at the southwest corner of Middlesex and Birchwood Main Street extension, and one on the S-curve near House 33 Middlesex as set forth in the National Grid letter dated August 3rd, 2010, and the mayor is authorized to sign any agreements with National Grid to implement this resolution. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Any other resolutions? No. Anyone have anything to report? If not, a motion to adjourn. Make Steve. a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Yes.